Blessings to you in this fourth week of Lent as we gather for our weekly reflection on faith, justice, peace, and community. My hope is that these reflections might stir within each of us a greater desire to come to know the God of love, beauty, mercy, justice, and peace, seeking to be fed in order to better serve our God and God's people. Well, brothers and sisters, our journey is about to begin. What journey, you may ask? It is a journey we take every year with Jesus Christ, from his triumphant entry into Jerusalem through the Last Supper, through his betrayal, arrest, denial, whipping, and humiliation, through his suffering and death on the cross, his burial, and his ultimate triumph over sin and death. As we take this journey both individually and collectively, we recommit ourselves to accompany Christ through his suffering, death, burial, and resurrection, remembering that every day of our lives, Christ accompanies, accompanies us through our struggles, our crosses, through those times when feel, we feel in tune by life's pressures, heartaches, and losses, only to rise again because it is Christ who has brought us through. At the same time, we recommit ourselves to accompany our brothers and sisters, especially those who suffer the crosses of racism, sexism, and other crosses imposed unfairly by those in power. Jesus knew the risks of loving absolutely everyone unconditionally. He knew that some could not and would not want to accept that everyone is a beloved child of God, deserving of respect and dignity, worthy of our attention, our concern, our investment of energy to help make their lives better. Jesus paid the ultimate price, literally putting his life on the line. The cross was the price of unapologetic integrity for him. He knew that his life was meant to show all of us that such love is possible, but that it requires dying to our own egos, loving ourselves just enough to enable us to love those entrusted to our immediate care and ultimately to all who God places on our path each day. The question is for us entering this Holy Week, knowing Jesus is at our side, is what does real integrity look like for me and my actions toward others, especially those who look different from me, those who as society has taught me to ignore, to fear, to judge, or to hate? I am, willing to su am I willing to suffer to preserve my integrity as a beloved child of God? The cross of recognizing my own complicity in the unjust crosses that others have to bear? Jesus put his physical life on the line, one resurrected for himself, and won the possibility of eternal life for us all. What are we willing to put on the line to sacrifice within ourselves in order to accompany all who suffer the indignity of injustice? Remember, we don't do this alone. Jesus Christ and all who live as his disciples walk with us through life, through suffering, through death, and ultimately to resurrection. On behalf of the Christian family here at St. Agatha, I want to thank you all for the ways that you continue to allow the Lord to work through you, with you, and in you. Please join us this coming Sunday for our regular services, either in person or online. Thank you, and in all things, be blessed.